it's far more serious than we thought. This is what scientists are warning concerning the weather and Britain. Tsunamis could hit Britain. Sean Martin reports on Express UK today. Tsunamis could hit Britain and it could be much more regular in occurrence than previously thought. This is according to researchers who warn the risk of mega waves is far more serious than we thought previously. Well, Britain is low lying in a lot of areas anyway. Now scientists have uncovered evidence suggesting that the British Isles are struck by tsunamis with much more regularity than people believed. Experts previously believed in the past 10,000 years there's been just one tsunami which has hit Britain, the Storega landslide off the coast of Norway, which led to a 20 meter, that's 20 times 3, that's about 60 foot high tsunami that hit the British Islands 8,200 years ago. But now researchers from Dundee University found two more killer waves struck the same time frame. The team from the University of Dundee and workers from the British Geological Survey, BGS, discovered sands in the Shetland Islands, which they believe prove two more mega waves did hit that area. Professor Dave Tappin of BGS said they're much higher in frequency and 1,500 years ago is very, very recent. It's about 500 AD if you want to think about it like that. It means that the hazard, the risk of tsunamis hitting the British Isles is far more serious than we thought previously, he says. Dr. Sue Dawson of the Dundee University said, we found sands aged 5,000 and 1,500 years old at various locations in Shetland up to 13 meters above sea level. 13 times 3 is about 49, 50 foot above sea level. That's pretty high, 50 feet. She says these deposits have a similar sediment character as the Storiga event and can therefore be linked to tsunami inundation. She goes on to explain, we are now using a CT scanning machine at the University of Dundee to look at our samples in detail. And for the first time, we have a complete 3D view of the cores we've extracted from the ground and from locks and seabeds. This detail will show us which direction the wave was traveling in, identifying the elements present in the sand and much more. This will be the first time that such a level of detail has been captured from these prehistoric tsunami events. Now this team believes that tsunamis were triggered by two underwater landslides. And these landslides dislodged the seabed, leading to massive waves. Underwater landslides changing the seafloor, leading to the massive tsunami waves. Dr. Tappin told BBC these changes to the ocean floor can occur at any moment in time, meaning we should anticipate other tsunamis. He said, it is actually an event and it's not just maybe one in 10,000 years. There could well be changes on the seabed, changes around the Greenland margin that may well increase the risk of future tsunamis to this part of the world. So as we can see, this is Norway here. This is where the landslide took place, the underwater landslide, the seafloor sliding in, causing the tsunami to come, hitting the Shetland Islands over here. And this is it. And they're fearing that, of course, something could happen. I don't know, maybe a, a glacier caving in or something happening around. Well, we know Iceland has volcanoes too, um, which is, of course, earthquakes and volcanic territory. And, of course, that is uh, just a little bit uh, longer of a distance than Norway towards uh, in northern England. And that's the area there that they're talking about. 50-foot tsunami waves, you can imagine. That's Scotland. The 
let's go in we'll see how high of a terrain this is from sea level I mean I know uh, as far as various places off London are concerned they're very close four meters three meters that's ten feet five meters and uh, okay just just for the fun of it we can't go off exit from here exit okay the coast. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. That's, as you can see, that's pretty low-lying anyway. Five meters. That's very low-lying anyway. The whole area is very low lying. Okay, that's it.